Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I am extremely, extremely happy to be reviewing Menagerie Exotic Edition. This is Nicki Minaj's newest fragrance. It was launched on January, or not January, sorry, July 11th, 2014 for a special limited release through HSN. This perfume is only going to be ever available at HSN in America. Um, if you get it outside the UK or outside the US, you probably either know somebody like me who is willing to ship it out because I am shipping this out to several people or um, you found it on eBay. This will never be available in a store. This is one time limited release. If you didn't get it on that day, it was done and over with. So, but this is a whole new addition for Menagesty. Um, kind of like um, with Pink Friday, we got Pink Friday Special Edition. This is Exotic Edition. Um, so on the box, we have the front here that just says Menagesty, um, Nicki Minaj, Exotic Edition. Uh, ED Parfum Spray Vaporizer, 3.4 ounce, 100 ml. And then it has these little buckles on each corner of the box, which match onto the bottle. On the sides we have Nicki Minaj, the top Nicki Minaj, the back is the same as the front, and we have this on the bottom. Um, when you open it up, mine had, when you first opened it, it sits like this, this little plastic piece that sits in here on top, and it fits around her head, and inside it you've got the um, Onika Rollerball and the Onika air freshener. Um, but then we had the bottle on the inside. So, same design as the original Menagerie, and we'll do a quick comparison of the two. So, the new one is a blonde wig this time. More of like a yellow, but it's a blonde wig with a black um, kind of corset with these little gold buckles on the bottom. The faces are the same, same shade of lipstick, um, same way that the heads built. Everything's the same, it's just different color wigs and different outfits. Um, the bottle this time is frosted, and it does not, the outfit does not carry on to the back like it did with ex uh, the normal Menagesty. This one is um, described as um, tropical and effervescent and euphoric and it's a quite great scent I think. Um, she talked about it a lot on the special but um, it's a very nice scent in my opinion. We'll just say that. Uh, I want to go too like elaborate on exactly what she said but anyway so this one has the notes listed as top Notes are bright sparkling bergamot, nectar, um, orange squeeze, and fresh mango with heart notes of tiger lily hearts, lavender blossoms, and dewy petals with base notes of creamy musk and cedar wood. So, I think it has a similarity, like a slight similarity to Menagesty, but it's not as similar as Menagesty and, um, or as... Yeah, they're not as similar as Pink Friday and Pink Friday Special Edition were. They they do have a big difference, in my opinion. Um, so straight out the top, um, you smell that mango and the orange with the bergamot kind of underneath to kind of uh, play a supporting factor. Um, but the top doesn't last terribly long. Um, I will say that the top, the middle, and the base are very distinct, and they do kind of have their own um, time in the spotlight, if you want to say. But I think as you as it kind of develops a little bit, the bergamot kind of brings out a little more. But I think that mango is kind of always a supporting, or a kind of a shining star of this fragrance. As it kind of dries... You really smell that lavender blossom. Um, I really do like how potent the lavender blossom is because it makes it a very different scent. Because um, normally you would not mix 
lavender with mango just because those aren't things that would work well together traditionally, but this works amazing together. The dewy petals give it kind of a soft um, wetness to it almost, um, but it is very tropical and effervescent like it was said on the special. Um, it's just something that isn't, it's not standout, I will tell you that right now. It is not completely different and standout, but it is very nice and it's a very light, airy, summery scent. But it does have that potential to last quite a long time on your skin, depending on how much your skin takes a fragrance. But as it kind of dries, the creamy musk and the cedar would really blend together with the top. Um, I think the top and the heart, as they come together, like I really think it just kind of blends all together. It's not really a top is gone. It's just mo so much as the top blends into the heart and the heart will blend into the base. But it is very... Um, creamy and sultry but at the same time it's very summery and very light and very effervescent and um it's something that you're gonna wear and people are gonna ask you what you're wearing and you can have that like one up on them that oh i'm wearing menagerie exotic and they're not gonna be able to get it most times because it's gonna be sold it's you know from what i know i think it's sold out and only way you can get it now is off ebay so but this is a very nice scent. Um, I think I might like it a little more than I liked Menajesty, but I think I like them both for the seasons that they're supposed to be in. I think um, Menajesty is a little more of a fall, um, fall kind of scent, and Menajesty Exotic is definitely a summer scent without any question. Um, like I said in there, I did get the Onika Rollerball. Um, I was actually going to try to do a surprise with you guys and tell you guys I wasn't going to review this because um, I refused to review it off the rollerball. But as a surprise for you guys, I do have um, the 100 mil of Onika. And if you guys stay tuned to my channel, I will be reviewing this later today. Um, but that is a whole nother review and we'll talk about Onika in the next review. So Menagerie Exotic, to sum up, is a very light tropical scent. That could potentially last all day. It has a great heart of the mango with a mix of the bergamot and the orange. With a heart that has a supporting roll of the mango with the lavender blossom and the dewy petals kind of making themselves well known. Um, with a dry down of the very creamy musky woods um, with the lavender blossom and all the other top and um, base notes kind of playing a supporting backup role with the heart or with the base. So... Like always, guys, if you like this review, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys want to stay tuned to my channel for more reviews. Um, follow me on Twitter, A to S Perfume, Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And as always, guys, have a great day. Bye.